Here I was at Galerías Preciados, a big department store in Madrid, Spain, trying to buy a blouse. But it seemed to me that there were more than a thousand blouses there, and I didn't have a clue how to choose. And I was so confused and overwhelmed that I ran out of the store crying. Now, you might say, what's so big? What is a big deal about buying a blouse? Well, the problem was I had just come out two weeks before from Cuba, my country of origin, where I had been under communism rule for 12 years. So I didn't learn to make choices because there were no choices to be had. See, the government will let me buy one blouse, one skirt, one dress, one pair of shoes a year. But that was if they were available on the stores. And half of the time there was nothing on the stores. So if, they, if something came, you had to go, get in line, and then by the time you got in, you were lucky if they still had your size and they usually had only one color. So I didn't have to choose anything. But now I was in Madrid. I had left Cuba alone. My parents could not come with me. I was 18 years old and I was a mess. I didn't know how to make choices. I had to learn in a hurry. See, I had only a blouse, a skirt, and a dress when I came out and the shoes on my feet. That was it. So, uh, an, an aunt of mine had sent me $25 that to me at that time, we we're talking 1970, was a good amount of money, but I needed to buy with that, that blouse that I was having so much of a hard time with, a skirt, and I needed also shoes, and I needed underwear. Well, it took me three times to go back to the store before I could make my choices and buy what I had to buy. You know, it, it was a time of learning a lot of things, but by the time my parents came out, six months after, I had a job, I knew how to navigate Madrid and its subway system, I had made friends at church, and I had grown a lot in my own confidence and in the things that I could do. My parents were kind of amazed because I had never before left home. And now here I was teaching them what I had learned. And um, so that was my first encounter with a challenging, really challenging moment. And from there, anything else was not such a big problem because it paled in comparison with that first moment when I just left Cuba and had to learn everything from scratch. Oh.